guys, thanks for visiting my channel. Today we're gonna take a little trip to the Caribbean and we're going to make island pork tenderloin. So good, perfect for this nasty, to counteract this nasty winter weather we're having in central Ohio. So we've got, what I have here is about two and a half, two, you want two to two and a half pounds of pork tenderloin. And we're gonna stop, start by giving them a little rub. Um, I do have my pan i'm using a cast iron skillet and i've preheated it i want it really hot because we want to get a nice sear on the outside of our tenderloin um, i love cast iron if you have a cast iron skillet skillet this is a perfect um, application for it you will need a skillet that you can put into the oven because we're going to finish it off in the oven so what we're going to do is start with a, giving them a little bit of a rub and in here i have a teaspoon of um, pepper a teaspoon of salt about a half to three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of cumin, and um, a teaspoon and a half of chili powder. So I mix that all together and then we're just going to sprinkle that on our tenderloins. And then we're gonna rub it all over. Try to coat your tenderloins pretty good on all sides. Really get that rub rubbed into your meat and give the pork tenderloin lots of flavor. Now these seasonings can be adjusted to taste. Um, if you like the flavor of cinnamon, by all means you can up the amount of that. I like a little bit of cinnamon in my island flavored dishes, but I don't like a lot. So I cut back on the cinnamon a little bit and just used about a half to three quarters of a teaspoon of it. Um, but you can adjust the seasonings to your liking. So what I have in my pan is about a tablespoon of olive oil and we're going to give our tenderloins a nice sear. Uh, it smells good the minute it hits the pan. After we sear them, we're gonna put a delicious sauce on top of them and then we're gonna put them in a 375 degree oven to finish cooking. So this is gonna take about four minutes, five minutes or so to brown them on all sides. So when they're brown, I'll bring you back and show you how to do the sauce. We are back. Look at the beautiful crust, that wonderful sear on those tenderloins. Just gorgeous and my kitchen smells amazing. So what we're going to do now is they're all ready to go into the oven, but we're going to give them a delicious, sweet, and spicy glaze. What I have in my bowl is some chopped fresh garlic, about two tablespoons. I have three quarters of a cup of dark brown packed, packed dark brown sugar, and to that we're going to add about a tablespoon of Tabasco. Don't worry, the Tabasco doesn't make it too spicy, it just gives it a little kick pairs really well with the brown sugar. And I just kind of do enough to um, melt in the brown sugar. Just a little bit more. It doesn't have to be super runny. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn off my heat and we're going to put this across the top of our tenderloin. them a delicious sweet and spicy plate. Okay, I'm going to put them in a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes. And I will bring you back. While our tenderloins are finishing in the oven, we're going to make a delicious side dish to go with our pork. And we're going to make confetti coconut rice. So good and perfect with the flavors that are in our pork. So I've got my pan preheating, and I'm going to start by putting in a tablespoon of butter. Let that melt for a second. And then to that, we're gonna add some delicious veggies. So we're gonna start with about a half a cup of red chopped red onion about a half a cup of red bell pepper. Now you can use whatever color bell pepper you like here. The red um, bell pepper with the red onion is really pretty together. You've got the purple and the red. And then we're going to add about two cloves of chopped garlic. And then we're going to just give that a stir. 
and just let him go until it starts to smell fragrant and it does smell really good. Okay, and to that, we are going to add about a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm going to add a half of a teaspoon of allspice. Now, allspice is pretty strong, so if you're unsure about it, maybe start with a quarter of a teaspoon. But I'm going to add about a half of a teaspoon. And then we're going to give that a stir. And then we're going to add our rice. And I'm, I'm adding one cup of just plain white rice. You can use whatever kind you like. If you prefer brown, use brown or whatever you prefer. Use what you like. We're just gonna let that toast for just a second. And then to that, we're gonna add the star of our show, which is coconut milk. I like this brand and I use full fat. If you prefer to, um, not have the fat, you can try the low fat. I've not tried the low fat or the fat free coconut milk. I always use full fat, but you can certainly try it. And we're going to put that in our rice. And then we're going to add two thirds of a cup of water. And just give that a nice stir. Let the coconut milk solids dissolve. I'm gonna bring it up to a boil, put a lid on it, and then simmer it until it's done for about 20 minutes or so. So um, they should be done right about the same time. So it's perfect. So when we get there, I'll bring you back. Okay guys, we are back. Um, I, our pork is done and it is resting. I cooked it until it reached an internal temperature of 170. And it did take about 20 minutes, but it's really, really important that you actually use a meat thermometer and check. Um, times can vary from stove to st or oven to oven. So it's really important that you check. I don't ever serve meat without checking the temperature for the doneness that I want. And for pork, you want 170. So we're resting, it's absolutely beautiful, smells amazing. And then my rice, I cooked until all of the um, liquid absorbed. And um, then I let it rest for about five minutes. So now we're gonna add a little more fun to our confetti rice. I'm going to add about a half a cup of chopped mango. If you don't groove on mango, that's totally fine. You can use pineapple or some other fruit that you like, or you can totally leave it out altogether. And the other thing I'm going to add is about a quarter cup of freshly chopped cilantro. and add a little freshness and some beautiful green color to our rice. And then we're just gonna give it a good fluff. And we're set to go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up for you and show you how delicious it looks together. How beautiful does that look? Who wouldn't want to eat that? You can take a trip to the islands without ever leaving your kitchen in the middle of winter. It, this is so good. It is such a great dish um, and you can totally tweak it to your taste. Um, add other veggies to your rice, other herbs that you like. Um, try to keep those delicious fresh island flavors. Um, it's just a really great dish. Um, the sauce is, does have some kick to it. So if you don't like all that spiciness from the Tabasco, you could always use um, a little bit of water. Instead of the Tabasco to um, make your um, glaze for your tenderloin, but those sweet and spicy flavors together are just out of this world delicious. So I hope you'll give this recipe a try. Thanks so much for coming along with me today. If you enjoyed my video, my recipe, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the fun, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.